Hello everyone! So this is the Ross TJ Maxx video. Um, I'm just going to show you what I picked up at TJ Maxx first because it's only one thing. Um, but, let me pull it out here. Okay, I got this um, stationery box. Um, and it was, let's see, who is this by? It's by Raymond Waits, I don't know. Um, but it was $4.99. So I thought it was a really good deal. And I think I'm going to use this to organize all of my nail polish and hand creams, things like that, uh, nail files and nail polish remover, all yada yada, um, because I need the extra drawer in my bathroom <laughs> for makeup storage. And I want to keep my makeup in the bathroom so that way it's near the sink. But my husband doesn't want so much of it displayed on the counter <laughs> since he does live here too and, you know, he wants it to look like a unisex bathroom, not a girl explosion bathroom. So I need the extra hidden drawer that I can hide more makeup in. <laughs> and I figured I would put the um, nail polish box in my bedroom since it's not as important for me to have that on hand in the bathroom. Um, and then I picked up this at um, Ross, I almost said Target, but this was $3.99 and it's a acrylic um, Simple Solutions nine set it nine section um, cosmetics organizer, and I already have one of these. Um, not this particular one. It's a it's a large three system that holds um, all of my lip products right now, and I have another small container that holds a few brushes, and I'm just trying to to make it look a little bit cleaner. Um, so I got this to maybe put a couple more lip products in. Um, maybe do my brushes and get rid of the other one. In that way I can kind of get the overflow of lip products and then the brush is all here and just I don't know I'm not sure what I'll, exactly I'm going to use it for but it was only $3.99 so I knew I needed to pick it up and I would find a way to organize my stuff better um, and then I picked these up at Ross too a little unrelated um I love to scrapbook and you guys know that I'm a very crafty artsy person especially if you followed me for a while. So I found these, I was so excited. These are like those um, paper booklets, like specialty paper booklets. And normally these are like $16 at like Michael's and Hobby Lobby. And um, K and Company is a really good paper company. She makes a lot of really good um, scrapbooking, you know, pieces and stuff. And these were only $3.99 at um, Ross. Again, I almost at Target, oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, it comes with 28 sheets, so I thought that was awesome, and I just loved, like, the, the type, and I, I don't have a particular project in mind for them right now, but it was really cheap, and I thought, why not? So I picked up another one. I think this one's really cute, too. Um, this is a little more vintage looking, I think, um, but this was also $3.99, so had to get these. I'm in love, but, uh, yeah, that's it, so thanks for watching. I, I, um... I have an order coming from The Balm Cosmetics. I Well, actually, I ordered them off of Amazon because they were so much cheaper than the original site. And I do a lot of price checking. Like, I checked to see how much the palettes were on the ones that I wanted because there were two in particular. I checked how much they were on The Balm. I've tried to look for them on Hot Look. I checked at Sephora and Amazon and eBay. And Amazon was the cheapest that I could find them. So I'll do a whole price comparison for you guys. Um when they come here. But I also checked out the UrbanDecay.com sales section a few days ago, and I shouldn't have. <laughs> but they had several of their palettes were on sale, like some of their $38 and $39 palettes were on sale for $15 and $13. And I checked today, they're, they're still on there. So you guys should definitely go look. So I did order two of those. I talked myself out of the third one because the third one had 10 shadows in it, and I already had five out of the 10 in some of my other palettes. So I just decided not to get that one. Um, but I did get the other two that had shadows that I didn't have. Um, so those are coming, and I'm expecting one more swap box, I think. Yeah, one more. Um, I did a swap with another girl from, I think, a Savvy Share Swap Sell group on, um, Facebook. So that should be coming soon, hopefully. And I think that's it. Um, so yeah. Alright, well, this video is getting, well, it's not, I guess it's not super long. I've only been chit-chatting for probably another minute or so. But, um, I will talk to you guys later. Excuse my terrible, terrible hair. It, it was 
like nice and slick back and I had like this whole slick back look and the ballerina bun in the back but um my bangs I guess the gel is wearing off and my bangs are starting to come forward but it doesn't matter because I'm about ready to take a shower anyway so okay I will stop talking now bye guys